Hey, Buck's Gearbox. Welcome to the road trip. custom shop I just finished up some mini bug out and regular size bug outs for fourth of July theme awesome keep an eye out they'll be dropping soon that is super cool can't wait to see him <laughs> we'll see you hey guys here we are Rivers Edge Cutlery my friend Evan here what's going on guys show us some new stuff so today first thing that we got in that I'm really a big fan of are these new giant mouse Ugh. get that out the way the Nazca full tie and green micarta there. And what you notice about these guys is a little different for giant mouse. They actually have a crossbar lock that is very, very similar to the Benchmade Axis lock. It's ambidextrous, and um, so is the pocket clip there. But just really wild blade shape on these guys. That is um, awesome. Yeah, they're really, really cool. Satin M390 on both of them. They got a brass backspacer. Check that out. Super, super smooth, but I think it's cool that we're seeing a lot more of uh, this style of lock now that the um, patent yeah. has run out. That's cool. A lot of, lot of utility there for an ambi mm -hmm. knife, and the action on these is, is really, really good. It is really good. I was playing with that earlier. <laughs> and the centering is really good. I, I find that when you don't have like a lock bar pushing on stuff, yeah, I feel like centering, centering generally gets a little bit better. That's um, cool. But I'm a huge, huge fan of these guys. Almost has like a Microtech stitch look to yep. it. The way it's like that a they mini handle. Stitch. Exactly. <laughs> Handles offset, little manual mini stitch there. Big awesome. fan of those. Yep. Um, Obviously, Lyle and I, we're big pro tech guys. <laughs> That's right. We haven't checked in any of the stuff that we got from Blade Show onto the website yet. Right, you guys are busy. Yeah, busy and a lot of vacations following Blade Show, but like cool stuff, like tuxedo Damascus whiskers there, um, awesome. both DLC and Stonewash, ATCFs from Terzula. This is, I mean, probably wow. my favorite knife of the year so far. I absolutely love those. You're beautiful. Super, super nice. Don't and look then, at the price tag. No, no, never. <laughs> Couple textured Malibus, one standard blue aluminum, uh, the reverse Tonto stone wash there, and then one this uh, textured bronze aluminum. Yes, little sir. weight on this guy. With Love. The bling. Yeah. Yeah, a little bling on that guy. <laughs> and have you seen the new texture that they just kind of released at Blade? I have seen it, but I bet. The people watching the video might not have seen it yet. So on, on first glance, it looks a lot like the fish scale, but it's actually a little 3D multi-directional texture. They call this one the dragon scale. Yep. Obviously got that flat spot underneath the clip there because they don't forget anything. I think you're talking me into buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Doug hasn't bought this one yet. Yeah, honestly. yep. I might. I don't have that blade shape on my run, so maybe I will. I love the Warren Cliff. <laughs> and then a couple oh of goodness. absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Vegas Forge Damascus on both of those sprints there um, and titanium handles. So they got a little bit more bling than usual and a little bit more weight than usual. But look at those clips. So fantastic. Blue Ooh, on the, clip the is awesome. I know, it's <laughs> insane. I do, I, we're seeing a lot more titanium clips mm -hmm. um, from ProTech right now. Kind of started off with the, with the ATCFs and now yeah. we're seeing them on Godsons. And like they're doing anodization on the clips now to match the bronze aluminum. Super, super cool. They really, just got really dig ProTech and what they're doing. Oh yeah, so good. Such a nice group of people, and yeah. they they just recently went from twenty to thirty employees. So oh, I really? think we're kind of seeing them flex their abilities at this point. That's awesome. But really, really cool. Over here we got the Tor XT1. Yep. Which is a, a newer release from Tor, a folder. Um. Just had the uh, the pleasure of meeting Connor at uh, Blade Show oh, 2022. Yeah, Very cool. Really, really nice guy. Mm -hmm. A lot younger than I thought he was gonna be. He's a really, really cool guy. Um, this guy here is an S35VN, titanium handles, just super thick handles, I nice like blade that. stock on it. That's a beefy knife. If you're a recurve guy, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a recurve <laughs> for you. A recurve. But man, <laughs> just super, super solid. I like that a lot. Huge fan of this guy here. But yeah, check that out. 
to add a tour to the collection at some point for sure. I think I'm still a merchant guy, the Merchant 2.0. Mm -hmm. A little bit slimmer, a little bit more in my wheelhouse. I like the Tonto they do on those. I like um, that too. That's I know, it's, really it's, cool. a nice, it's, it's not like an overly aggressive Tonto. And then I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of their Fixies, but super nice guys over there in California. Nice tour. And it is tour, right? Yeah. Not tour. Tour, tour. I like it. You know. Evan knows how to pronounce the point across. all the brands. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I watch a lot of videos myself. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then over here, we got that um, QSP, QSP Osprey, which I'm actually really excited about. I like the sound of it, too. It's going to become okay. as cool as the Penguin, probably. Dude, the Penguin came so, out. It's one of my and favorite budget it, knives. Oh, yeah. And it probably it just, is my favorite budget knife. I agree. Actually. I agree. And yeah. then you can get it in not so budget configurations right. as well. I need to do that, actually. So this one has a lot, a similar neutral handle to mm -hmm. the Penguin, um, but a, a little bit less of a controversial style of blade shape. Okay. Um, <laughs> utilitarian, kind of a drop point, kind of just a straight back. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of just like an old traditional straight back. Um, they do crush carbon fiber on this, obviously. They do micarta, but um, the action on these are super good for the price. Yeah, just like the penguin, just like flips right out. Reversible wire pocket clip. I mean, if you would have told me yeah, that, cool. that budget knives were going to look like this 10 yeah. years ago, I would have been like, you're insane. Because uh, these are far and away nicer than what we had mm -hmm. when we first got into the knife community. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> but they're super, super nice. And yep. they go down to more uh, oh, more great. basic models like this. Uh, these are in Sandvik 14C 28N steel. Okay. I'm just a big fan. Maybe they'll do yeah. a, uh, a titanium version of this at that some point too, cool. which yep. would be legit. You Super guys should fan of that. buy a bunch of these so that they do that. <laughs> Everybody buy vote, vote with your wallet. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But yeah, cool, man, man, that's kind of what we got going on. All right. Well, thanks for letting me uh, invade the shop again today. Absolutely, and, guys. Uh, you guys have a good week. It'll be probably another two weeks before I make a video. Camping trip, right? Backpacking trip. Yep. Can't wait for that. That's awesome. And uh, yeah. You doing a little filming for Buck's Gearbox, or are you kind of keeping it low-key? Uh, probably a little bit, but not, okay. not too much, yeah, because I'm the leader of this camp trip, and I got to be, you know, that's my first responsibility, <laughs> so you can't be, be careful about you that. You can't be vlogging while can't someone's be, walking off can't be no that's that's actually a, a legit scare at red river gorge if that's, anybody out there knows what i'm talking about that's a legitimate concern People fall off cliffs there all the time <laughs> okay maybe don't film yeah all right yeah i'll, I'll stay focused well thanks a lot again thanks and, lyle uh, appreciate you we'll guys. see you again soon see all you right, man bye